I'm excited that my surprisingly pink number four is part of Sotheby's auction and exhibition in Paris, natively digital, oddly satisfying. For me, those shapes that I'm creating, they play with the notion of perfection in the digital realm because they are math mathematically correct. So they are very smooth and perfect. And then when you produce them physically, it's really hard to meet this kind of quality. And I think that's a metaphor for the whole life. Uh, that we live today because you are always faced with this perfect technology. I mean, of course, technology fails all the time, but at its core, it's like mathematics. So it's never gonna, gonna decline or you don't have this decay that the human body has. So I'm wearing the virtual reality glasses to create a work. I draw in the air and I create a shape in the size of a pottery painting, like 60 by 40 centimeters approximately. And then the computer gives my line in space a volume because every computer tracked line is, is only an abstract form that you wouldn't even see. So then it gets this volume. Some people refer to it as toothpaste um, or sausages. But it's really this line in space that needs a representation. I started to work in this way in 2018 for an exhibition at KM Künstlerhaus in Graz in Austria. That was a group show and that's really when I started to draw this squigglish kind of shapes in uh, space. The series started in 2020 when I had my digital solo show, surprisingly this rather works at König Galerie. And it was a little game that you could walk through and one of the artworks on display was surprisingly blue. The physical artworks have been on view in various exhibitions. For example, at Hamburger Kunsthalle, there was one in the exhibition um, Out of Space. And now there's one in Gamek in Bergamo, where they are interrogating the materiality of the digital in the exhibition called A Leap into the Void. And it was also part of DIYOR at um, Kunsthalle in Zurich. So you bid on the digital object, like really the shape that everything else is built on. And then you have a video where multiple instances of it are bouncing on each other. It's turned into liquid, which is the second one, that melts. And then there's a third one, which is special to this series, so you won't get that in the, in the rest of the series, um, which is the inflating one. And so that's really blowing up, increasing in size. And there you can really see the balloonish quality if you want.